Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. We know all the kings of the northern kingdom of Israel were wicked. They all did evil in the sight of the Lord, even though God reached out to them over and over. They continued to follow the ways of the first king of the northern kingdom, Jeroboam. Eventually, God gave them over to their wicked ways and removed his protection from them. Assyria then came along, defeated them, and took the people captive. This happened to Judah as well. The Babylonians came in and took them off to captivity. But this was much later, because Judah had a series of good kings who followed the Lord for most of their life, if not all of it. After two evil kings and an evil queen who'd led Judah astray, Joash repaired the temple and brought the people back to worshiping the Lord. But after his advisor died, he abandoned the Lord for other gods. His son Amaziah was better. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, but he ended up adopting the gods of the people of Edom, whom he conquered. Then there was Uzziah. He sought the Lord as long as Zechariah was around. But then pride got a hold of him, and God struck him with leprosy. Jotham, his son, reigned in a godly way, but he still allowed the people to worship idols. Then we get to Ahaz. His epitaph says, He did not do what was right in the sight of the Lord, but walked in the ways of the kings of Israel. Whereas his fathers had been tolerant or dabbled in idol worship, Ahaz dove in head first. The Bible says he burned his children in the fire according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. And he sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places, on the hills, and under every green tree. God didn't let him by with this, though. His people were attacked from all sides by Syria, Israel, Edom, and Philistia. Ahaz tried to bribe Assyria to help, giving them treasures from the temple, but they refused. And this was the Lord's doing. For the Lord brought Judah low because of Ahaz, for he had encouraged moral decline in Judah and had been continually unfaithful to the Lord. God allowed these things to get Ahaz's attention, to make him realize his sin and turn back to God. God sent him prophets to turn him to repentance, Isaiah, Hosea, and Micah. When Isaiah reached out to him with God's promises of care, he refused to even ask God for a sign of his promises, and that's when Isaiah told him, The Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Even then, Ahaz did not believe. It says, in the time of his distress, Ahaz became increasingly unfaithful to God. He even started worshiping gods of the people who had defeated him in hopes that they would help him. Before he died, he had pretty much closed down the temple and made altars to other gods in every corner of Judah. Talk about rebellion. Ahaz had done just about everything he could to anger God. Yet the Lord had plans for Judah that went way beyond Ahaz, and he raised up a godly king, Hezekiah, to reign after Ahaz. No thanks to his father, Hezekiah followed the Lord and did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. He undid everything his father had done reestablished worship in the temple, tore down the high places, and brought Judah back to following the one true God. Through Hezekiah, God brought revival to the little nation of Judah. Like Judah, we often have times where we follow the Lord closely and then get off track. But if we are his child, God brings us back to him. He doesn't leave us waiting around in sin. He loves us too much for that. Do you need revival in your life today? Or do you know someone who does? How is God leading you to pray for that person? How can he use you to reach out like Isaiah did to those Ahazes you know? Or how can you, like Hezekiah, lead others back to following the Lord? 
you can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.